a home attacky oisin, which I have won. Namaste. How, how. Please forgive me. Thank you. I'm sorry. I love you. Ho'oponopono. On Monday, I have tested positive for COVID. I have not been going to work at the landscaping company. I am missing income. However, I've been trying to stay positive. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Let me turn this off. So, on Monday, on the first day, I had a lot of like really bad body aches. And then after that, it kind of like was coming and going. I have worked with some products. I worked with Inner Defense by Young Living. And I worked with some essential oils like Holy Shroom on my, um, on my neck. And also uh, Rosemary on the back of my neck. Eucalyptus, I worked with a bunch of different things. I also worked with this thing called Paragon, which had, um, oregano inside of it and um <laughs> there's another story where i am taking sage while i'm sick <clears throat> taking sage and um like smudging the entire bedroom and then leaving the burning unattended walking away coming back the entire thing of course whole whole bundle is burning and left smoke all throughout the room and then for days cleansing and cleansing and cleansing trying to get the smell of smoke on because I had gone to sleep with it all full of smoke and breathing that in throughout the night and then waking up with green mucus <clears throat> and then having slept there a second time again also still <clears throat> congestion I have run out of salt. Definitely need to make an investment and in a grocery run of some sort. <sighs> also, during this time, I've been getting rid of everything. Any energy that just any item, object, especially objects that I was having a hard time letting go of that I felt like really had a hold on me. I broke all covenants, you could say, and let go of so many different particles of my past and seeing identity and pieces of me in these things and seeing God in these things and feeling like I needed to have these things to kind of remind me of the connection or feeling like I need those to strengthen the connection. And so I've been ridding as much as I can, just eliminating as much as I can. I will admit that I'm I'm far from done. I have some things that are to go eventually. And um, you could say it's the onion parts of me that I know are dead already, right? Are not part of me in the future. It's still... There might be stories that I paid a lot of money or stories I'm not being able to let it go. Now I have this funny thought like someone just gave me three thousand dollars or something like that. Like would I just let it all go? I hear heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. But when I think about just like the stories, right? There's so much story. And um those who are in Christ have an understanding of this stuff in a certain way that I cannot translate to at this time. But if you know, more power to you. Feel free to drop in the comments, like, your understanding of those things with objects and clothes and just, like, all different energies involved with that. I don't feel like a lot of people 
talk about that. But that for me has been a real thing. So I've been in this process of gutting and now I'm down to like some of the last few things that are really needing to go, but they're like really significant, you could say. So I'm going slow and integrating and releasing and making space for greater. But um, what, a, what a painful process it's been, especially like being sick on top of everything else and not being in a position to really give and be a working person. And then um, again, sometimes there's voices of fear. Let's say I have to be better by Monday or else you're gonna be in trouble. And um, I'm trying my best to really get better. <sighs> and um, I'm going slow as I can. It's really, really hard to do that sometimes because the impulse, you know, I just want to like feel better right now and to do this and to do that and get this done and whatever this takes. So it's a process. And um, I know I'm going to feel so much better once I actually like completely let go. And now that I make this, it kind of makes it much more clear some of the things that really need to go. And then I have this belief system it's kind of like, if this is really what God wants for me, right? There is nothing, like, nothing will pass me, it will come. And, um, again, I have faith, I have strength, I have fruits of the Spirit. And I have friends, I have some amazing friends who have been so helpful like very intuitive friends who know like I don't even have to ask you for help or to send or to do this or to do that you just know in your soul sometimes it's been really hard to accept and receive <sighs> however since you're still here it just shows so thank you and I have so much more to come and I'm going to work on video journaling more and doing certain things, like especially once I'm feeling better, I really, really got to get salt. This bath is just not the same without salt. I'm very fortunate to have such an amazing partner. I'm sure he will go get salt for me if I, if I ask. So I'm thinking about that. <laughs> I love the idea of going with him and doing things together and going places together but at the same time i'm really just not my best right now so i kind of need to give myself permission to go slow and just relax <sighs> but i have all this you could say burning i'm burning one i have all this overflow i want to do all these things i have these inspired actions and then you could say the enemy is saying you don't have enough time <laughs> And I know that there's paradigms or like multiple realities happening where like now is the time for me to choose if this is gonna be the moment that I do that thing I said that I was going to do. Or that one day that time would come and I just feel like that time is now for a lot of things. So I don't know who needs to hear that too. I just wanted to get that off my chest and share my heart. I want to remind you of how much I love you. Each and every one of you, we all have a personal relationship together. You guys are my friends. You guys are my family. You guys are special to me. 